going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects, here, bringing the most in-depth action figure reviews here on YouTube. And today, we're taking the WWE Mattel Maivia Family Legacy 3-pack with the first time in the line, High Chief Peter Maivia. You're getting The Rock and his infamous promo gear with the bracelet and the gold watch, as well as an updated version of Rocky Johnson. If you are interested in picking up this 3-pack, it is available only at Walmart. It is a Walmart exclusive, unfortunately. Uh, I did pre-order this a while ago. I feel like uh, it was actually up for pre-order for a good amount of time was not confident that this was going to ship i was you know either ready to one maybe find it in stores or two pay the inflated uh, secondary market price as i've done with quite a few walmart exclusives it is very frustrating but i don't know mattel is ensuring us that they're hoping things have changed uh going forward with the pre-order process with walmart i'm not holding my breath until you know the proof is in the pudding right they got to show me a little something here's Kind of a little bit of good faith. We did get uh, this three-pack ship. Uh, at least I did. I know some other people have been getting them as of today. And some people actually did get cancellation. So I hope people who want this set are able to, you know, really get their hands on it and not have to pay uh, an inflated price. But this set does look really good. It is kind of based off of The Rock's uh, uh, show. Uh, you can see more based on his family. You get the high chief for the first time in the line he does look really great he's got the little skirt here i'm sorry i don't know what it's called he's got the the lay he's got the necklace get the interchangeable hands he got the nice samoan tattoos on his leg you also can see the rock with that infamous blue uh button down shirt he does have the gold sunglasses as well as the gold bracelet and watch uh, he's got the loafers on i don't know if you guys can see that underneath with these shorts so i'm excited to get this this figure out of the packaging um and of course we get an updated version of rocky johnson i believe he was a target exclusive i don't remember the elite wave he was from uh but he definitely had a darker complexion um he had the purple trunks i believe and he had just kind of like generic boots uh i remember bill talking about that he specifically designed these rocky johnson boots that he used to wear uh when he wrestled so i'm um, very excited to have this pack in hand and review it for you uh, you could see the nice kind of image of the actual box similar to like the hulk hogan fourth anniversary pack you can see the different themes a lot of samoan heritage uh with high chief you can see the rocks kind of logos up here uh, and if you can see the stars for Rocky Johnson, but on top, that continues on with the Simone pattern, the rock, and the stars. Taking a look, you'll see the nameplates at the bottom. First time in the line for High Chief. Uh, let's flip over to the side. It is just the Elite Collection logo. Flipping all the way to the other side, you will see the images of the three wrestlers here. If you guys want the barcode, you can go ahead and take a snippet of this video here if you want to scan it to your local Walmarts, but nothing crazy on there. On the back, you will see, you get the little read-ups for each. Uh, you got the High Chief, you got the Rock, and Rocky Johnson for the, they're calling it WWE Generations Maya Via Legacy. So pretty cool to have in hand. I Like I said, I'm really excited to have this uh, here to review for you guys. You can see even the backdrop, I don't know if you can see it, it says WWE Generations Maya Via Legacy uh, in the white and gold. So it looks pretty cool. But let's come back, we're going to crack this uh, three-pack uh, out of the box and see what these figures are all about. Starting us off, we are taking a look at High Chief Peter Maivia out of the packaging. So accessory-wise, he does come with a set of interchangeable mic open holding hands that you will see here. He does come with this beautiful headdress here. Uh, has some nice size to it. Love the gold and the red uh, with the little silver paint applications. Fits on there pretty well. You can see it on the figure here. Uh, we will take it off and get a quick close-up of it for you guys. Uh, really nicely done. I don't know if those are flowers or what's supposed to come out, but I do like the way this was designed. You can see on the inside of it is even sculpted with a little piece of the black here behind it. Uh, he does come with a lay as well, and this is exactly what you've gotten with your Roman Reigns figure. So you are, you guys are familiar with this. The Ultimate and the Elites have been coming to that. He does have this necklace on here as well. Uh, it looks like kind of whitish with uh, like black beads around it. Uh, so that looks pretty cool. He also does come with a soft goods. Uh, I want to say a, a sarong, if that's what it's called. Uh, nicely detailed. It is very soft, kind of an orange color to it. Uh, it does Velcro on the back. And I'll be honest, I did not expect pink trunks on uh, the High Chief. Uh, he's a little before my time, so I'm not going to lie to you guys and pretend like I've seen a lot of his matches. But, you know, watching Young Rock, obviously I've gotten a lot of the history of, uh, you know, the Rock's grandfather. And you can see the nice Samoan tattoo detailing. Wow, this looks pretty good. He does have the nice, bigger, bulkier arms. Uh, the bigger torso, I believe, is like the Brock Lesnar torso that we've been seeing. I don't know, that's a nice size to him. He's kind of stocky. Uh, you can see the nice girth on the back. So I do like the way this looks. The head sculpt looks pretty awesome. Let's get a quick close-up. You guys can see there. Uh, nice kind of curls to the hair as well. Really do like that. Um, you can see, again, the Simone tattoo detailing. Let's move his arm out of the way. You guys can kind of see it there on his lower area. Same on the other side. I will say my shoulder joint up here is a little stiff. Uh, but going down his legs here, I do like the detailing on that as well. Looks really nice, man. This is just a nice piece to have. 
Uh, if you ever, you know, need a high chief Peter Maravia, here is one for sure to add to the collection. See, he does have the bare feet on. I uh, really like how this figure looks. I uh, love all the entrance gear he comes with and really does uh, do uh, the Simone Heritage proud, I feel. Moving right along, the next figure we're tickling is Rocky Johnson. So if you guys are not familiar, uh, this is not his first Mattel figure. We did receive an Elite in Elite Wave 80. It was the collector's edition where they were doing that where someone go to Walmart, someone go to Target. This was the Target exclusive. I remember seeing him on pegs for quite some time. I do have that figure in my collection, and we will definitely do some comparisons. But let's take a look at the figure we got from this three-pack and the accessories that are included. So you do get a set of interchangeable mic open holding hands for Rocky Johnson. You also do get this nice soft goods robe i do appreciate that they packed it off on the side i believe it's the same as the elite 80 version uh the nice kind of purple with the lavender on here it looks pretty good uh you can see the nice stitching on the top of the collar uh it does have the kind of lighter purple tie which just opens in the front uh which is stitched onto the robe that looks really good here and then removing it you will see they updated the skin tone if you did have the prior figure. He is a lot lighter in complexion with this figure, and I think that is definitely more accurate. He does have the chest hair as well as tattoos on there. If you guys can take a look, he does have the yellow trunks, which looks really nice. I do like the look. Just has a nice vintage vibe uh, to this figure. Going on down here is the newly sculpted boots. You can see on the inside how the stitching looks. They don't have any of the laces in the front. I believe he used to uh, lace them up on the side is what Bill said when he designed these boots. Uh, they gave him something a little different. Take a look at the back of the figure. See the nice, bigger, bulkier torso. I really do like this head sculpt. I think it is the same as the Elite 80. I think, again, it's just the updated skin tone. He's got the big afro. Really like the look of it, the bigger arms, the pinless joints, the pinless knees. I feel like this figure is such a home run. I don't think you'd ever need another Rocky Johnson in your collection. This really does look great, and I really do love the soft good robe. For your figure comparisons, here is the other Rocky Johnson figure that we did mention prior. This is the Elite 80. You can see the robe is a little different of a shade. This is a lighter color on the new uh, three-pack version. You can see the skin tone without a doubt. Uh, he is a lot lighter. I feel like this is definitely the more accurate look for Rocky Johnson. The head sculpt looks to be the same uh, for the most part. I have not really noticing any real differences here. Let's bring it in really close for you guys. I think it's the same. Again, it's just a different skin tone added to this. I wish Mattel would kind of get it together, these skin tones. But you know what? I can't complain. They are updating it. But you can take a quick close-up of this robe before we remove it to compare the, the gear on underneath. Similar design. I think the color is just a little lighter with a new three-pack with a darker purple on the Elite 80. Removing the robes, you can see the difference with the attire here. I do like that they have the RJ on these trunks. I actually do kind of like the, the purple with the white trim. Uh, but the yellow does look pretty good. Same chest tattoos as you guys can see that. Of course, the new one does have the double-jointed pinless elbows with just the single-jointed pinned arms on the original release. Uh, Height-wise, they are the same. The head, again, I'm going to say is exactly the same. Just the updated skin tone. Uh, and here's the other thing, the boots. So this one does have the RJ with the laces in the front, but like I said, from what Bill McKean is telling me, I don't know. I, I wasn't, a, you know, an expert of his gear, but these are supposed to be the more accurate ones. Um, I don't dislike the Lead 80, but I think for sure the new one is an upgraded version, and that's the one I would recommend. And the last figure we're taking a look at today is The Rock. I can't tell you how excited I am to have this figure in hand, especially The Rock is back now, doing an amazing job as a heel. I am thoroughly enjoying the final boss, Bloodline Rock. He's just been doing some great stuff, uh, especially now bringing back the Hollywood theme. But here's another figure, very iconic to The Rock during the Attitude Era. I definitely remember him wearing this outfit. I got a question for you guys because I personally don't remember. Around this era, did he have the Intercontinental Championship? I want to say it was the WWF title, uh, the Attitude Belt. But I could be wrong. It was just such a long time ago. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which era he wore this gear with because I want to display a championship belt with him. I'm probably going to, you know throw uh, the Attitude Error on him, belt on him just to see how it looks for this video. But uh, if I'm not accurate, let me know down in the comments below because you guys are pretty good at uh, knowing your stuff when it comes to tires. Uh, but this figure is just, it's blowing me away. He doesn't come with any interchangeable hands. So I did want to point that out. But, you know, we have a ton of rock figures, so I'm okay with that. And uh, he does have the open hands on here. Kind of wish maybe he would have came with a microphone, but I'm not nitpicking, right? We have tons of those accessories. But let's take a look at all the stuff he does come with. So you do get the traditional gold rock sunglasses, which we've seen in the past. You can remove it. You can see the smiling uh, smirk skin of the rock, that cocky son of a bitch. Uh, you can see he's got the beautiful soft goods blue shirt, uh, which does Velcro here on in the front. You can remove it, and we will get it off after we get a quick look at the back of this jacket. Just, oof, or excuse me, the shirt. Really good, and it actually feels like a shirt would. It doesn't feel like your traditional cloth attire. 
Um, I don't want to stretch this out too much. I want to be careful in removing it, uh, but it does come out pretty easily here. Again, if you guys want to get a quick look at this off of the figure, we will do that for you guys. Man, this shirt is awesome. Uh, really just, I love The Rock, and especially around this time. Like, it's nice that we're getting, like, promo gear. Like, we've gotten so many different uh, versions of ring gear. Uh, I want more of these. I want Stone Cold in the black jorts and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Here's the shirt. And you can see the torso underneath is the traditional Rock torso that we have been seeing before. He's got the bigger arms. He does come with the gold chain. He does come with this gold bracelet or watch. You can see, I believe this is the same mold as the uh, uh, most recent uh, Elite Undertaker. Was that Elite 106, Elite 107? Uh, but it is painted in gold. does have the white kind of uh, face on the watch. He also does come with the gold bracelet. First time in the Mattel line. I really do love that. You can see the actual uh, molding of these jorts. I don't know which mold they're from. I don't, I don't think they're a Cena mold. Maybe they're the Austin jeans. I don't know if this is new or not. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I'm noticing he does not have the Brahma Bull tattoo. So, uh, that, what's going on here? Was that an error? Like, dudes, for sure, he had the Brahma Bull tattoo. It's not on this figure. What? Am I missing something here? Was this, like, a really early rendition of The Rock? I, I guess. I don't know how Mattel could have missed that. But I don't like that at all. Damn, man. He does not have the Brahma Bull tattoo. That's crazy. Someone's going to comment in here and kind of school me with some knowledge as to why he doesn't have it. But that's damn disappointing, man. I'm definitely going to get an arm. I'm going to swap that out, man. That's, I don't care if it's accurate or not. Like, you can't give me an Attitude Era Rock without the Brown Bull tattoo. I don't care if it's accurate. But whatever. Let's move on. Going down, you will see he's got these awesome loafers, man. I don't know if I can get this to focus for you guys a little bit. There you go. You can see the nice kind of sculpting on there. He's got the brown loafers, which he wore all the time around this era. Um, so again, I guess I'm going to say this is an early rendition of the rock. Maybe he didn't have either belt, right? Someone's going to say that he didn't have either belt. Uh, but I don't like the fact he's got the pin legs. I wish they could have found the way to work that out. Uh, especially, you know, for such a premium pack, but the minus, you know, the gripe of the tattoo. I think this figure looks awesome. All right. I know I'm probably going to get some flack for this from someone, but I don't care. Uh, I feel like this version of the rock to me, whether it's accurate or not needed that Brahma bull tattoo. I was lucky enough to find a spare arm in my parts bin and I slapped that bad boy on there. And to me, this completes the look. Yes, the Brahma Bull tattoo. Again, I don't care if it's accurate. To me, I feel like this completes the figure and puts it over the top. Uh, I believe this arm may be from the new WrestleMania Elite 40 Rock. So if you're wondering if for an arm that fits and matches the, the skin tone colors, because sometimes they are a little off, uh, I will say that matches this one perfectly. For your rock figure comparisons, I figured it made sense to bring in some other rock figures in his promo gear. So we have the most recent Greatest Hits Elite Rock with this beautiful lion style shirt or whatever the hell you want to call it. It looks pretty awesome and it's kind of crazy to see him wearing some of this stuff now in the modern day. Of course, the one with the three pack. We have the original Defining Moments. I think this was Series 2 uh, that actually came with this uh, $500 shirt as well as the Rock and Sock Connection jacket. And of course, a modern day look at The Rock in his promo gear with the Just Brand gear. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And while you're at it, please turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. My personal final thoughts on these three figures, I absolutely love them. I feel like this is a very fun set. I feel like if I can find them in the wild, I'll probably pick up another one. High Chief Peter Maivia is uh, just amazing i love the entrance gear i love the size of this figure the samoan tattoo detailing on his legs are pretty awesome uh just a very different figure from what i'm used to owning so i'm glad to have it highly recommended rocky johnson without a doubt is a huge upgrade from his last figure the double jointed pinless arms you get the new updated skin tone it is a very similar role but i think this figure is far superior if you ask me and you just need one in your collection i'd go with this one and The Rock, if there's any complaint, and like I said, I know Mattel probably did not omit that tattoo. It was probably uh, not on during the era, but this is how I'm going to display my Rock Intercontinental Championship belt. Uh, Raw is war, uh, microphone, and of course, even though you can't see it, the fact that I know that he's got a Brahma Bull tattoo on his arm, like, warms my heart. It already really pains me every time I see The Rock come out now, modern day, and it's all covered up with that big, I don't know, whatever weathered Brahma Bull tattoo. I don't like it. To me, this was always so iconic. It was just such a big part of my childhood, that logo. Uh, so I would add it to this figure if you don't want to, to each their own. But uh, whether this is an accurate display or not with an Intercon Championship belt or not, I'm going to display them like this to each their own. Highly recommended. Again, this is a Walmart exclusive, so I hope you guys are able to score. This is a very fun pack. You know, thank God uh, for the Rock sitcom. Young Rock was uh, just, you know, 
kind of made this possible and it's unfortunate it, i don't know if it got canceled i think it got moved to another network but uh, either way we got a fun three pack out of it with the maya via family here highly recommend it again thank you so much for checking this video before you don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok at alex West collects thank you all again i'll catch you all on the next one